America is catching up to Iranian technology. Have I read that right? Have I lost my mind? Yes to the first question. No to the second, I hope. Picture this. The world's most powerful military, the United States military, has just unveiled its latest weapon. And it's a carbon copy of a drone designed by Iran, a country that's been under sanctions for about 50 years. On July 16th, just a few days ago, Defense Secret uh, Secretary of the United States, Pete Hegseth, stood in the Pentagon courtyard, that's the military headquarters of uh, the US, and unveiled Lucas, America's low-cost, L, uncrewed, U, you get the point, low-cost, uncrewed combat as attack system, Lucas, um, or UCAS, uh, if you remove the L, not to be, or UCAS, not to be confused with the university registration portal. Anyway, Lucas bears a striking resemblance to Iran's Shahed drones, the same triangular delta, hopefully I've got a picture, some, same triangular delta wing design, same piston engine, even similar functionality. The irony is almost too rich to ignore. Here's Iran, a nation that's been economically strangled by the US for the last 50 or so years, 1979 onwards after the Iranian Re revolution, um, and they're producing technology that's so effective, even while they're under crippling sanctions, so effective that the United States felt compelled to create their own copycat version. Who's copying who now? I always hear, oh, you know, that thing's from Temu, oh, you, you know, Chinese knockoffs. What, what, what is this, an American knockoff then? The superpower has been catching up to Iran. <laughs> when it comes to hyper cost effective drones. Some reports suggest the Shahid drones cost under $50,000 each, the Iranian ones. And they have a range of over 1,200 miles, 1,200 miles. Uh, though my parents used to say 1,200, 1,300 when I was younger, so it just stuck. I, I don't know what that's from. Anyway, they've proven devastatingly effective in modern warfare. Drones, especially low-cost ones. You may know about the Shahid drones that were used during Israel's 12-day war on Iran. Overwhelming the air defences of the Israeli state and allowing more expensive, more powerful Iranian ordnance, hypersonic missiles potentially, uh, to you know increase the chances that they would slip through the net. Iron Dome, more like Iron Sif. But here's what you might not know. You knew about maybe Israel, Iran, and Iran were using their drones there, but you might not know that shockingly, the Iranian drone tech is so effective Russia bought the tech as part of Iranian-Russian defense ties, the defense ties that are getting yeah, ever closer and tied to the third wheel, uh, China. Um, and now Russia mass produces the Shahid drones, the, the Russian variant of them called the Geran, uh, for use in Ukraine, forcing billion dollar air defense systems to fire million dollar missiles at what's essentially f flying, you know, uh, scrap, scrap metal with a warhead strapped to the nose of it. That's basically what the super exp expensive interceptors are having to aim at, these really cheap drones. Iran didn't achieve this through massive defense budgets or access to global supply chains like the F-35 program that, you know, spans the whole Western world. None of that. They did it through necessity, innovation, and sheer Persian determination, though ethnically, you know, Iran's more than just Persia. Now, 45 years of sanctions forced Iran to become self-reliant, to think outside the box, to develop cost-effective solutions that rival anything the West produces, sometimes exceed um, Western capabilities. While America and their defense contractors inflate costs and timelines, the same American, you know, this is the same America that's famous for its $2,000 chairs. I read a report uh, a few years ago $800 custom specification hammers, you know, they'll just put in orders for ridiculous things at ridiculous costs. And, you know, of course, funded by the humble American taxpayer. Good luck to you guys. You're paying literally through the nose for you know, sometimes insane things. Now, Iran has mastered the exact opposite of $800 hammers. They've mastered the art of efficiency and utilizing efficient asymmetric warfare technology that gives them an edge where overall one might assess that they are actually at a disadvantaged position. The Lucas drones, the American knockoffs, <laughs> it's so funny to frame it like that, sorry. The Lucas drones, despite American engineering prowess, still costs more than their Iranian counterparts, <laughs> weighs more and has less range. 
It's a testament to how sanctions haven't weakened Iran, but have we- weakens them in the short term, but then forges them into a technological, innovative powerhouse that keeps Western officials awake at night. Iran has what America does not. Sometimes the student now becomes the teacher, and sometimes the sanctioned becomes the innovator that others desperately end up trying to copy. Abundance, comfort, safety, after all, are not as motivating as fighting for your life on your homeland against an enemy that has imposed a choking, suffocating sanction on your nation for over a generation. Time will tell how things turn out and potentially, perhaps, uh, America might completely catch up to Iran in all facets, uh, though unlikely. For the unbiased doubt, that last part was uh, a joke, right? America is far ahead of Iran by and large militarily, but this is an exception, which is why I made a video on it. For the unbiased news and analysis without the Western spin, I'm Mahfuz. It's been a pleasure. Keep supporting me in every way you can. Tell me where you're watching from. It's always motivating when I see those comments, even if I don't like them, even if I don't reply to them. It's very motivating to, for me, best believe, as a creator. Um, keep letting me know. Keep bookmarking. Keep uh, liking. Keep hearting. Keep saving if it's on YouTube. Um, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Uh Why do I make it so?